As you travel through the heart of Africa, you'll come across a country that stands out from the rest. Rwanda, a land of stunning natural beauty, economic prosperity, and a culture like no other. A country that has captured the hearts of many. And today we're going to uncover the secrets behind Rwanda's rise to prominence. Imagine a land of lush forests, rolling hills, and serene lakes, home to a diverse range of wild animals and protected by a government committed to sustainability. This is the Rwanda that greets visitors and investors alike, a country that has found a way to balance economic growth and environmental protection. But Rwanda's story is not just about natural beauty. It's also a story of remarkable economic growth. The country has seen significant development over the last decade, with GDP increasing by an average of 8% per year. Strong government leadership, a focus on education and skill development, and an open and welcoming attitude toward investment have all played a role in this expansion. But what truly sets Rwanda apart is its people and culture. Visitors are struck by the warmth and hospitality of the local people, who are known for their kindness and generosity. And the country's vibrant culture, with a rich tradition of art, music, and dance, has become a major draw for tourists from around the world. Join us as we take a deeper look at the factors that have made Rwanda one of the most beloved countries in Africa. From its natural beauty to its economic success, we'll uncover the secrets behind Rwanda's rise to prominence and explore why it's quickly becoming one of the most popular destinations on the continent. Strong Government Leadership President Paul Kadam, who has been in power since 2000, has been a key factor in Rwanda's success. Rwanda has made significant progress under President Kagame's leadership in a variety of areas, including economic development, infrastructure, and education. One of President Kagame's major initiatives has been the creation of a strong and stable business environment. He has worked to attract foreign investment to Rwanda and has put in place a number of business-friendly reforms, such as streamlining the business registration process and improving the country's transportation and communication infrastructure. In addition to these efforts, President Kabam has focused on improving Rwandan education and healthcare. He has implemented a number of initiatives aimed at increasing access to education such as the construction of new schools and the provision of student scholarships. These efforts have yielded impressive results. Rwanda has experienced rapid economic growth over the last two decades, with GDP increasing by an average of 8% per year. In addition, significant progress has been made in reducing poverty and increasing access to education and healthcare. In conclusion, Rwanda's leadership, particularly President Paul Kadam, has been a major contributor to the country's economic growth and development. Education and Skill Development One of the most important ways in which education has aided the Rwandan economy is by increasing the country's overall literacy rate. Prior to the genocide in Rwanda in 1994, the country had a very low literacy rate, with only about 30% of the population able to read and write. However, in the years since the genocide, the Rwandan government has made a concerted effort to improve education in the country, resulting in a significant increase in literacy rates. According to World Bank data, Rwanda's literacy rate is now around 70%, a significant increase from just a few decades ago. In addition to increasing literacy rates, education and skill development in Rwanda have aided in improving the overall quality of the country's labor force. More Rwandans who receive a good education are better prepared to enter the labor force and contribute to the country's economic growth. An open welcoming attitude towards investment. Since the end of the Rwandan civil war in 1994, the government has enacted a number of economic reforms aimed at encouraging business development and foreign investment. Reforms have included reducing bureaucracy and red tape, improving infrastructure, and providing incentives to investors. 
The Rwandan Investment Group is one of the key incentives provided by the Rwandan government. It assists foreign investors in navigating the local business environment, connecting them with potential partners and clients, and providing access to financing. In addition, the government has established special economic zones in strategic areas of the country, where investors can take advantage of tax breaks and other incentives. These special economic zones have attracted a variety of businesses, including manufacturing, information technology, and agribusiness, thereby diversifying the Rwandan economy and creating jobs. These efforts have yielded impressive results. This economic growth has contributed to the reduction of poverty and the improvement of living standards for many Rwandans. In addition to the economic benefits, foreign investment has also had a positive social impact in Rwanda. For example, many foreign companies operating in Rwanda have implemented corporate social responsibility initiatives, such as providing training and employment opportunities to local workers, supporting education and healthcare projects, and promoting environmental sustainability. Overall, Rwanda's welcoming attitude towards investment has played a crucial role in the country's economic development and progress. By providing incentives and support to foreign investors, the Rwandan government has helped to attract a range of businesses and create jobs, which has contributed to the country's economic growth and improved living standards for its citizens. Other aspects that have made Rwanda more economically attractive include Rwanda's location. Rwanda's location in Central Africa has had both positive and negative influences on its economy. One positive influence is that Rwanda's central location makes it a regional hub for trade and commerce. The country is located along the main transportation corridors that connect the Great Lakes region to the coast of East Africa which has helped to boost its economy through trade and transportation services. Investments in Infrastructure and Human Capital Infrastructure and human capital investments can benefit an economy in a variety of ways, including increased productivity, attracting foreign investment, and improving living standards. Rwanda, for example, has made significant investments in infrastructure and human capital in recent years, contributing to strong economic growth. The expansion of Rwanda's transportation network is one example of how infrastructure investment has benefited the country's economy. Improved roads and other transportation infrastructure have made it easier to move goods across the country, boosting trade and commerce. Furthermore, Better transportation has made it easier for people to access education and healthcare, contributing to the country's human capital development. Education and training investments have also played an important role in Rwanda's economic development. Young Population A young population can contribute to a country's economic growth in a number of ways. For example, a large youth population can provide a ready supply of labor, which can help to drive economic growth. A younger population can also be more entrepreneurial and innovative, which can lead to the development of new businesses and industries. Additionally, a young population can be more open to new ideas and technologies, which can help to drive productivity and efficiency. In the case of Rwanda, the country has a relatively young population, with a median age of 18, this has contributed to the country's economic growth in a number of ways, including by providing a ready supply of labor and promoting entrepreneurship and innovation. From everything that has already been said, we can see how Rwanda's economic endeavors have paid off as Rwanda has seen a steady increase in foreign direct investment in recent years. In 2019, the country attracted more than $1 billion in FDI, representing a significant share of its GDP. Major investors include companies from the United States, China, and other countries in Europe. There are several factors that make Rwanda an attractive destination for FDI. One is its strategic location, which allows for easy access to other markets in the region. The country is also considered politically stable and has a relatively low cost of doing business compared to other countries in the region. Another factor is the country's favorable tax policies, 
which include a 15% corporate tax rate and a range of tax incentives for businesses operating in specific sectors. These policies have helped to make Rwanda an attractive destination for businesses looking to set up operations in Africa. Overall, Rwanda's economic development and attractiveness to FDI can be attributed to a combination of favorable business policies, strategic location, and a focus on innovation and technology. As a result, the country has seen significant growth in recent years and is well positioned to continue attracting investment and driving economic development in the future. Thanks for watching this video till the end if you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and also subscribe so you don't miss any of our future updates. See you in the next video.